Hello everyone, uh, this is the another video of the video series SAP Business One SDK and today I'm going to talk about the SAP Business One Studio introduction and the feature and the installation, how you can install them, how you can collaborate them into the Visual Studio and all the basic fundamental of SAP Business One Studio right after this. <laughs> have a SAP Business One SDK installed in your uh, SAP Business One then you can open the setup of your SAP Business One and simply once you open that you have to install the two important component which is SAP Business One SDK and SAP Business One Studio these two things are gonna be needed into the whole journey uh, I already have installed this one into my system and uh, if you want to make if you want the SAP Business One Studio for Visual Studio as well then I then I would recommend you to install the Visual Studio first and then you're gonna install the SAP Business One Studio which then automatically uh, integrate with your Visual Studio and when you open your Visual Studio then you will see two new projects of SAP Business One add-on and SAP Business One add-on project from uh, B1I b1s files so these two projects gonna be added automatically into your visual studio once you install these two framework and the thing uh, is like launching the sap business one is studio you can directly go from here once you open the uh, from the sap the sap business one is studio gonna look something like this there it goes it's gonna look something like this right you can can make it a bit bigger now the best thing about the SAP business on studio is like it is the enhanced version of uh, a screen painter in the terms of creating the form and that's also another best thing is like you can create your own form or you can just inherit the system form in order to change something on that so for example if you're gonna open and create an add-on it's like LT right I'm gonna say okay then a new form will be pop up but for example if you want to uh, create a system form then you can simply go into the SAP business one open any any form let's say item Serira, and when you go back into here you can right click add a system form then the item Serira will automatically come into the list and when you say okay then the item master data form will be loaded with all the SRF and everything so and you can you can change it the way you want in here too right so we are not gonna talk about this today we're gonna take a look into this into our upcoming uh, into our upcoming videos today we only gonna discuss about the SAP business one is studio and how is it so basically there is uh, there is uh, one form automatically added when you uh, when you add a uh, when you create an add-on in your left hand side you will have the UI and the data source basically the UI the static text would be any kind of label and you can see uh, see the property of every UI control into this one the normal property is like the caption then the height and width most of the time you cannot change the height and uh, for for the caption for sure you can change the height of your uh, of your uh, edit text i will come into that later then uh, for how far you want so for example if you want 100 then it's gonna shift into right and from the top if you want 100 then it's gonna come bottom you can give a unique id the size of the unique id shouldn't be more than 8 or 10 then uh, you can you can decide if you want to show that or not and then it be it would be the right justified or not and then you can link one control to another control the best thing about linking the controls is basically it's going to help you so when you when you resize the form in the safety business one it's not the the control will not gonna flow here and there i will show you that in a minute as well the display description the description and if it's enabled or not 
So these are the basic properties of one static text. So let's say I'm going to say, okay, the caption of mine is text LT, right? And I'm going to add one edit text in here. And the edit text will be, uh, let's say, I'm going to say unique ID. Uh, we can leave that unique ID like right here. Now in, in the text box, we have the additional features of choose from list, the data source binding, and all uh, the, the main thing about the data source is like when you open the form into SAP Business One without binding any data source into your, uh, into your text box, then you're gonna get a system error and you cannot save that value into the form because what happened in SAP Business One is like one control, any control that that take the values from the user is expecting a data source on behind and they are they are basically tighten up into the binding with each other so whenever you enter any data that will be reflect in your data source and the difference with the main difference between them is like when when you read the values from your control then that would be a bit uh, a bit take take a bit more time instead of reading the values from the data source. So that's why it's highly recommended to use a data source on the back end. And I'm gonna just add this one into here. I'm gonna make a small form, all right? I'm gonna save the form. You can change the full name of the form as well. When you select the form, you're gonna see, you can change the form is run together. So when you click into the preview of uh, SAP Business One Client, then this one I'm gonna populate it automatically here and you can test and you can see like how your form look like. Now, the second thing that I was talking about is linking one thing to another is work like this is something, it's gonna be together. So when you click into the preview of any system of any form that it was creating, is you have to just save it and you click into the preview and that form gonna be automatically visible and you can see the out, out uh, look and feel of that particular form into SAP Business One without even running any error. So that's the beauty of this SAP Business One Studio. Now the another thing that you can see is like you have the different kind of edit text so that this edit text is basically getting the values from the user and let's say this one is extended edit text that you can increase the width and height of both for example for the remark or something right then the second thing that i'm gonna say is like first thing that you have to do when you create a form is like you have to put the button and that button id should be one so when you give the button id one and you put the caption uh, okay or anything that you want and that time uh, according to the button one and two the sap business one uh, will handle both button according to itself so you can just give the caption and give the unique id two and the unique id one and two of every form in sap business one is reserved by itself so you should add these two uh, button first and then mm -hmm. once you add it then you will see that the whole form will be managed automatically by SAP Business One. So when you say, okay, my form will be in add mode, and when you, uh, let's say your form you say gonna be okay mode, right? You open this form into SAP Business One, and when you start typing, the mode of form will be automatically changed into the update, right? So that's how the SAP Business One handle, and we have nothing, we have wrote nothing into the cancel button, but I'm gonna can click cancel, then the form will automatically then I get close. So these two unique ID is reserved for these two buttons and you have to always give the unique ID one and two for this, right? The second thing that we can practice is like linking or uh, giving one choose from list of uh, any, uh, of any, let's say we need a choose from list of SAP, uh, we need a choose from list of item as data then i'm gonna say okay cf01 the object type would be one here and the multi-selection is false because we are only giving in this one then you go here and select from the choose from list select the particular cfl and you say okay the alias would be item code that we want to get copy right now if you're gonna open this form then you cannot see right here but that's how it's gonna be work when uh, you 
you can see the CFL is already attached into this edit text, right? And when you run this, when, when you run this up, uh, form with the SDK, then this this uh, choose from list will be open, and you can select the item by itself. There's uh, there is uh, then the checkbox. It's the same control. There is an option button. There is a combo box. The tab control. So making like multiple tab, right? And you can you can create the multiple tab by basically going to. Uh, to you have the one thing that you have to remember is uh, like giving the form um, the form uh, pan and two pan of one particular tab. So automatically it would be zero zero, but you can change the form because the default pan of any form would be zero, and that is changeable by itself. So you can you can work on the tab as well. Then you can add the grid. In the grid, you can add the column as well. So you give go into the grid, right? Or either you can add to the columns from here, right? Directly from here. Directly from here, right? Or you can simply add a data table into here and you can add the columns into your data table. You can add the columns into the data table. Let's say column one, two, three, four. You say, okay, now you go to your grid and simply give the data table ID of DT0. And when you attach that, then you can simply see the column that we have added into the data table gonna be visible into your grid automatically without doing anything. So that's how it works in the grid and matrix both. Then you can add the picture. This link button is basically used to open uh, open a particular uh, system form using the object type. So let's say we just created an item as the data uh, looker for this uh, control. So you can, for this object, you can just attach, okay, the object type would be four for this item and the four is for the item as the data. So then when you click on this link, then the item as the data form will be open when you, you have some data in it, All right? And that's how you can uh, you can uh, add the link link button, right? But then you can have the combo button. And the combo button is basically work as in any system form. So if you go into the business partner master data, right? And this button is called combo button, and that button have the multiple values uh, the way you want, basically. So that's how the combo button will work into your system form. Now for the data source, that is multiple data source, four type of, basically one is DB data source. The DB data source would be the exact table name of SAP business one. So for example, if you want OITM table into your form, then you can simply put OITM and uh, that would be uh, enough. Then the user data source, the user data source is basically, you can use one data source per one control. So the user data source is basically used for the edit text. Uh, or the uh, or the extended edit text, right? You can give any unique ID. You can give the size, and you can also pick which kind of uh, thing you want. So, for example, if you go here and give the data source to the user data source right now, then you will see that when you open here, you can pick the date because you pick the date type, so you don't have to do anything with that too. Right, so that's how the uh, user data source work. We already saw the uh, data table and choose from list. So whatever you add in this form is visible. Uh, every control in here will be visible in here into your UI uh, UI outline, and you can simply see if you want to add one more form, then you can simply create another form, and you can make the uh, make the another form the way you want it. Right, so, and for example, if you wanna use this form as SRFs and then you only have to do the export. And then for the export, you can simply, uh, whenever you export a file, it's gonna be .srf and you can use that file into your uh, add-on for the Visual Studio and for the DI API connection, right? So that's all I guess for today. Uh, that was the basic introduction of SAP Business One Studio. If you have any question or anything, 
you can feel free to write me down and before before the starting uh, before the starting uh, more about the creation of form and integration of the into the visual studio and creating a new add-on from the scratch I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna ask you if your uh, C sharp uh, or the VB is not uh, not polished, then you should go uh, go to the W3 school or some of the uh, some of the uh, free open source websites where you can uh, you can refresh your, uh, your your coding skills. So that would be useful for us. Uh, thank you so much. If you like the video, then please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, we will see each other on the next video. Thank you.